I'm gonna show you how to make YouTube thumbnails free in three different places online, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Personally, I make my thumbnails using Photoshop, but I get a ton of requests of people asking, you know, hey Nick, how do I make thumbnails? online for free. Because of that, I said, hey, I'm gonna figure this out, I'm gonna research and try to find some good places that are easy to use and that can get some really, really good results for you. So without further ado, let's head to the computer and I'll show you. But first, let me know what you're using currently to make your thumbnails down in the comments. The very first one on our list is Adobe Spark. With Adobe Spark, all you have to do is go to spark.adobe.com. You will have to create an account here, but it is free to use Adobe Spark. So basically what you'll do is you'll want to go and you wanna click on the big plus icon over here on the right. Once you click on that, you're gonna get options for what it is that you wanna create. You wanna create a post and then you want to start from scratch or you wanna look around and try to find a YouTube thumbnail. For me, I found it faster to just start from scratch and then with starting from scratch, I can select the YouTube thumbnail template down here in the bottom. So here I'm just gonna do a quick example for you how to make a thumbnail. So once I have that selected, I'm gonna click on more sizes and I'm gonna scroll over to YouTube thumbnail. I'm gonna make sure I have that clicked and then I'm gonna click on continue. And what you're gonna see is basically they give you a default starting point, okay? So with this default starting point, what they're doing is they're saying, okay, you can just run with this, with this image if you want to, or you can create something of your own. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to come in here, we're gonna delete this background. I'm gonna do this real quick for you so we can get to the other ones as well. Um, but basically with the text, you can change the color to anything that you want with the photos in the background. I can go here, I can click on add a photo, upload a photo, pull in any photo that I want for my computer. Once that thumbnail is loaded, you can click on your text and you can drag this text anywhere in the thumbnail area. Now, one thing that's really cool that I wanna point out is with Adobe Spark, when you click on the text and you start moving it around, you can see how it basically reformats the text in order to make it work with whatever shape you end up using for the text. So here, if we wanted to make it go all the way across, we could definitely do that, or we can just make it kind of small little accent um, up here in the corner. But another awesome thing about Adobe Spark is you, know, you can change the color, you can change the fonts that you're using, you can change pretty much all aspects of the thumbnail here. You can change your opacity, you can change the spacing between letters, you can add shapes to the background, which is pretty cool. So let's say you wanna put a square behind it or something like that, then as you drag it, it's gonna keep that square um, happening behind you and you can change the color of the square and things like that, which is pretty cool. But the options here are absolutely amazing as far as what they provide for you and it can really get you some really good looking, nice results for YouTube thumbnails. You can also change the actual picture itself. You can change the effect on the picture. So that comes in really handy if you're trying to you know, basically just come up with something that looks a little bit different. You know, it gives you all kinds of different options of things that you can do to really, you know, try to make your thumbnail stand out a little bit. Next up on the list is PhotoJet, and that is photo with an F, and that is photojet.com. In order to get your thumbnail started here, all you have to do is click on create a design. And then once you land on this page here with the design options, you can choose custom size and create your own size and start from scratch. Or if you scroll down the page, you're gonna see social media header, you're gonna see an option here for a YouTube thumbnail. And they also have other social media graphics that you can use as well. But you click on the YouTube thumbnail and then it's going to load, just like Adobe Spark did, it's gonna load a pre-formatted thumbnail for you, or basically a pre-sized thumbnail for you. And then whatever thumbnail that you like from this option panel over here on the left, you just click on that thumbnail and it'll go ahead and create that for you here in this space. And then you can later modify it. Now as a side tip, I wanna let you know that the ones that have the little crown icon, those are paid upgrades. So you do not wanna use those if you're trying to do this for free. If you're trying to do it for free, make sure that you're selecting a thumbnail that does not have that little crown icon on it. So in this case, I'm gonna click this New York thumbnail because I think that looks pretty cool. Once it loads, then all I have to do is I have to click, double click on the text here. And then I just change this to thumbnail. And then of course, you know, any other text that I wanted to change. And the same thing here with the with the actual background itself. So let's say that I wanna change this background and I wanna add a photo to it. Then what I would do here, let me move this out of the way. What I would do here is I would just click add a photo. 
then I would click on my photo, drag it over here, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna replace that photo that's in the background. So then now I have my picture, the text that I wanted to say, and this thumbnail is pretty much ready to go. And in a situation like this, you know, you could even use this part down here at the bottom as your actual channel name instead of, you know, adding additional text here, deleting that. So you could put your channel name there just as a way to kind of help people identify that it is one of your thumbnails instead of, you know, a competitor thumbnail or something like that. So that's pretty much the, in a nutshell, how you do it inside of PhotoJet. And just like Spark, you know, they have clip art that you can use. They have shapes that you can use, different social media icons, um, text, different backgrounds that you can drop in, actual text effects, which is pretty cool. You know, if you really want to dial in your customization here, um, they definitely allow you to do it. Next up on the list is Canva. Canva is awesome. Just like PhotoJet, just like Adobe Spark, it, it basically works off of templates and lets you create it how you want to create it. Start with what they have and then create it how you want to create it. So in this example, YouTube thumbnail is right here at the top of the list. So I'm just going to click on that. And then just like the other ones, you can see here, they have this huge panel of options that you can use. Now, how the other one, how PhotoJet had the little crown for the upgraded versions, this one has a little free icon just to let you know that you can use it for free. So if you don't want to spend any money, you want to make sure that you're using the ones that give you the free option. So here I'm going to create the thumbnail with the journey outwards option. And then same thing here is I'm going to change the text to whatever it is that I want to change the text to. And then I can just move that into place. Once you have your layout figured out and you get your text on there, then if you want to change the photo in the background, all you have to do is just come over here, click on uploads, click on uploads, and then you can upload your image here. So in this case, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put our image here in the background. And when I just grab that and drag that over, as you can see here, then it puts it uh, there in the background in the right place for us as well. Now, the same thing happens here. As you can see, as I squeeze this box in, it basically squeezes the text around so that you can, you know, manipulate the text and get the text kind of worked out in a way to where it looks better here. And another bonus that you can do, just as a side note, inside of tubertools.com, we have thumbnail frames. So there's a bunch of different options in there, things you can overlay in your thumbnails to kind of make them stand out a little bit. Um, and one thing you can do is you can actually grab these frames and you can pull them over here as well. And you can also use these um, inside of Canva and the other platforms. Um, as well when you are making your thumbnails. If you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.